What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lauren Drain. I'm a registered nurse, a fitness influencer, and today I'm going to address an issue of bullying on my page. So normally I don't really give any attention to negativity on any of my social media pages. Um, I've experienced all kinds of hate and trolling over the last five years. And I've experienced bullying in my life several times. You know, I've experienced it through my family life, I've experienced it in the workplace, and obviously online as well. And I, like I said, I don't usually give any time or attention to negativity, hate, judgment, anything, because at the end of the day, it's usually just someone being extremely nasty and projecting their own insecurities and their own issues on, onto someone else. And we just don't got time and energy for that most days. But today, I wanted to take this as an opportunity to address um, bullying because I actually had a recent uh, follower who emailed me. Um, she's the best friend of a male, one of my male followers who's apparently an avid fan. And a shout out to you. Um, and he recently received some extreme bullying by a neighbor who sent him a, a nasty letter that they left on his door um, after he was trying to um, work out in his own yard and reach his own fitness goals in his own, in the, well, technically the privacy of his own backyard, but apparently this neighbor was nasty enough to write a really just nasty letter. And I'm just gonna read it to you guys so you could he see what this person actually had the gall to say. Um, I mean, obviously it's not anonymous because this person is their next door neighbor, so this, they, this uh, person that got this nasty billing letter knew exactly who it came from. So it's pretty nasty that someone actually go out of their way to do this. And on top of that, when um, my follower, this guy, I'm gonna leave his name anonymous uh, just for the purposes of uh, you know, making sure he doesn't get any more hate. Um, but uh, the fact that they would even do this is just absurd and, and, and insane, especially when he's going out of his way to reach his fitness goals, his health goals, and to become uh, in better shape and better his own life and better his own quality of life it, with his own family. So I'll go ahead and get to it right now. Dear neighbor, I have noticed you working out in your backyard. I can see you from my window. I also see you running or trying to run around the block. Please stop all such activities. Nobody wants to see your fat bouncing up and down in your shirt. Thank God you wear a shirt so we do not have to see what's under it. I'm not the only one in the neighborhood who's tired of seeing you struggle running up and down the block every day. I personally do not wish to subject my kids to having to see someone else so obese outside when they're just trying to play in their own front yard. You must, if you feel you must work out, do it outside. Please move elsewhere where you will not actually bother people. Sincerely a concerned neighbor. First of all, this is absolutely disgusting. Like I, I can't even imagine what would go through someone's mind to, this is a parent, this is a neighbor that, that went out of their way to say such nasty things. If someone is obese or someone is not, a, not in great shape and they're actually working towards their goals of trying to lose weight and trying to get in shape in the privacy of their yard or their own home, why the hell would you send such a nasty letter? And why would you not be proud and uplifting and empowering of that person to reach their goals? And why would it disturb you? What is going on in your life that you, it disturbs you that someone else is working on their goals and their life and making changes for their lifestyle? Does it make you feel a little insecure? Maybe like you should be doing something? That's usually what I notice in this world, which I've experienced myself, even in the workplace when I first started to uh, train and get in shape, um, I was already kind of, I was a skinny fat, so people didn't consider me obese or overweight when I got started, but I got hate anyways from the from all kinds of communities. I got hate from coworkers, I got gossip, I got like, ew, why are you even dieting? Why do you have to have that nasty broccoli and fish smell in, on the unit every day? Like. I got hate from people and I'm not even an overweight. I can't even imagine what it would be like to know that you have, you know, have a have this thing you have to overcome and people judging you and hating you for it when you're actually making huge strides towards progress and towards your fit goals. So I just wanted to say uh, shout out to you. Um, if you've ever experienced any of this type of bullying before, I want you guys to all understand and know that everyone experiences it especially in the fit, in the fitness community because when you're going after your goals it it strikes a chord in people of jealousy and insecurity and whether you're fit or whether you're fat or whether you're anything it doesn't matter those the other people that don't have a good goodness in their heart and uh, empowering supportive people are going to look at you and feel threatened 
They're gonna feel threatened that you are actually working on yourself and you're working on your goals. So I need you to understand, be encouraged, be uplifted, and know that that hate and judgment that people are spouting at you is a projection of their own insecurity. Because there's no other reason to go out of your way to be nasty to someone who's trying to better themselves. There's no reason. There is n logically no reason behind it. It doesn't make any sense to be nasty and to be mean. And uh, yeah, it's just freaking cruel. It's childish, it's cruel, it's judgmental, it's rude, it's hateful, and it's just down downright depressing that people have that, that people continue to do that. But I'll tell you, I, I personally, even myself, being a rather, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've always been in rather good shape, like a skinny fat, but nothing crazy overweight, but I, I felt uncomfortable with my body and my lifestyle, and I felt unhealthy, so I did what it took for me to feel healthy, fit, active, energized. You know, I got in shape for more than just one reason, more than just aesthetics. I wanted to be healthy, I wanted to feel good, I wanted to feel strong, I wanted to get stronger, and you know, aesthetics came along with it, but I'll tell you right now, I got hate for it. I definitely got hate, I got bullied for it. And I got bullied for the fact that, what are you doing? Aren't you skinny enough? Why are you dieting so much? Why do you have to eat that nasty food? Are we, oh yeah, let's see you work out one more time. Oh, you're losing more weight, that's a shocker. Oh, you're getting too skinny. Oh, you're getting too muscular. You're getting too manly, you're getting too this. Someone's always gonna have to say something towards you. And like I said, there is no motivation to be nasty towards someone who's actively trying to get fit. There's no, there's no like offense there for you. There's no offense at all. So if someone's offended by it and they're gonna go out of their way to be nasty and troll you, whether it's through a letter or an email or online comment, they're, they're feeling insecure and hating themselves and they're projecting it at you. And that's what's going on really at the bottom line. So I'm, I'm not saying this is, I want, hopefully this is, helps you internalize and deal with the fact that it's not you. There's nothing you're doing wrong. When you're trying to get yourself in shape and you're trying to do, work towards a goal, you feel good about it. You deserve every right to be in the gym, to be working out in your yard, to doing whatever you can. We're running around the block, doing whatever it is that it takes to get you in shape and make you feel good and healthy and energized and reach your goals, and you are not doing anything wrong. And anyone else who wants to be offended, they can deal with their little childish bullshit by themselves, to be honest, it is bullshit, and there's, no, there's nothing you're doing wrong. So please never feel like you don't have the right to be in, working out at the gym, running around the block, being in your yard, jumping up and down, whatever it takes, doing your plyos, doing your body circuits, I think you're kicking ass, you are kicking ass, and um, yeah. Real will recognize real. Real people with real integrity and real intentions and real support and empowerment are gonna recognize you and they're gonna cheer you on. And so I made this video because all I know those people out there exist. I've met them in the fitness community and even outside the fitness community who are real people who see what you're doing and they are they think it's amazing they're encouraged by it they're you're, you're empowering them you're inspiring people you're motivating people so please do not let one or two or three random haters who are just dealing and internalizing their own issues and drama and problems and they're spouting it at you please do not let that ever drag you down take you off course uh make you feel like you don't you shouldn't continue to do it or to feel discouraged at all because i've been there it's a shitty feeling when you're already <laughs> When you're already working hard, it is hard to work out. It is hard to work out, especially when you're not used to it. It's stressful, it's tiring, it's exhausting. It sometimes when you're on a diet, now you're moody and you're exhausted and you're, you know, you might be feeling moody or depressed. Yeah, and then on top of that to have some hate thrown at you for doing it, that's the worst. You don't want to be kicked when you're already down. So, I say you're doing amazing. Keep it up. I'm so glad your best friend wrote you that, wrote me to show me what's going on out there because I've experienced this and sometimes I forget that people are receiving hate for doing the right thing and bettering themselves, improving their lives, turning their health around, getting strong, living the life that they want to live. And yeah, that's amazing. That's so encouraging to me to see that you're doing it despite all odds or despite what other people have to say. And don't ever let them take you down. Please be encouraged. You're doing amazing. You're strong. You're stronger than them. And you don't need to put up with that crap. And uh, I hate that the fact that it was your neighbor because that's really awkward because you have to probably deal with this jerk all the time, whoever this person may be. But don't let them don't let them stop you. You keep working out in your backyard. You run around your block. You do whatever it takes. I just really needed to address this because I, I that's just disgusting to me. I cannot stand that. I mean, it's pretty bad when people get hate for anything in, in life. 
um, it's just it's just not right but to get hate when you're doing something to better yourself you better your family better other people's lives and uh, even motivate other people is just plain gross it's disgusting and at the end of the day like I said that the, the reason that hates happening is because whoever's doing the hating hates something about themselves they're insecure or they're jealous or they're bored or they're just drama and none of it is coming from a good place and none of it is coming from a place that matters so like I said keep doing your thing keep killing it keep working out keep doing your thing and I and keep me updated on, on everything and I hope you're having an awesome day and continue to have an awesome week much love to all of you guys who are experiencing this crap because it's bullshit and um, keep doing you keep on going on all right guys cheers to that little rant um, love you all keep supporting each other haters gonna hate but you know what they're hate they're just hating on themselves at the end of the day that's what's happening so cheers have a good day have a good week much love from Lauren um, and if you like this video comment below give us some support encourage the people that are experiencing right now share your stories with me because I know you guys have them and uh, like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe